Hello ladies and gents, welcome. Today I've got this uh, Maju Birch Bear. It's a bear of uh, Russian uh, birch tree called Majur. Majur. <laughs> I can't pronounce it, but well, it's beautiful. Uh, it's the first time I'm turning this wood. And I managed to get my hands on uh, this piece. It's not much, but I want to make a small, uh, small jewelry box, lidded box, out of it uh, with the lid out of the same piece. So let's put it in between center and see how we how it goes. I'm sure it's going to look beautiful with this wood, but such a shame it's not uh, any bigger. The bigger ones were longer and costing about 300 quid. So, so first let's try a smaller one. I've already found the center and marked them so. And it's, I, I'd say, pretty true. So, one of them is for the the lid, one's for the base, so to hold it, shape it. Um, I was thinking of having a foot on it, some small foot on it, but it seems like it'd be way too small. So... Plus, I've got this uh, bear with me. There is a uh, there's a amethyst uh, stone, like gemstone, that uh, the customer for this uh, wants me to put on the finial. So I'll show you guys later afterward when when we get to the lid. So that's the only important part and I'm gonna try have the foot on there. It's very really difficult but I want to make a really nice sort of shape to it. Only a small box in this but uh I'm gonna make a nice shape and we'll hollow it as much as we can. I'm gonna part off the lid from there.
Wow. <laughs> it's such a lovely wood to work with. You saw how I w when I was using the um, uh, spindle couch, how nice I'm looking forward to shaping the foot. But let's not get too carried away with the foot because I was going to start <laughs> shaping it and I realized I still need to hollow it. <laughs> it's just lovely to work with. So let's get to the hollowing part. Okay, I'm gonna apply Yorkshire grit now. That's been sanded. That's better. It's like I've curved the inside it. As you can see, it's a little bit curved. So it 
because the top is curved it matches it instead of seeing the gap The gemstone I told you about, it's, it was part of a, a necklace. Um, my friend who wants me to make this for, for her, uh, this means a lot to her. That's why uh, we want to have it here. Sort of like a crown. And I've decided I'm gonna have like this much of it in there but have it have it uh have the gemstone and the uh, and the diamonds around it um outside i think it gives it a nice touch so i'll make a groove here fit this first in there then I'll shape the rest of the finial. Hopefully I don't get any catches <laughs> after the fact. That's it. Okay. There we go guys, I don't know about you guys but I love the shape <laughs> and the way these bears are, they look, never seen anything like these before, and that's the bottom and the lid is nice and tight not too tight that you can't take it out but it sits flush as you can see thank you everyone for watching i hope you liked it if you did please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos i upload every weekend Saturday or Sunday I try my best to get it out in those two days and then during the week when I'm when I'm free I usually uh, upload random days as I'm free no. so no promises during the week but on the weekends I try my hardest to get get one out at least Thank you everyone for watching and for all your comments in the past videos, I appreciate it. Till next time, bye.